All right. Hello, citizens of Nigerverse. It is Nigeria once again. And and normally, yes, today would be uh, System Shock Radio. But uh, to be honest, I was having some problems with uh, OBS recording. And, and it might be less OBS and more my computer probably... Um, probably not like working properly when it came to OBS because sadly uh, my computer does that sometimes but that's so I figured instead we're gonna, we're gonna go backwards in order uh, so I'm gonna try to do system shock radio uh, tomorrow and then and uh, what was supposed to be Sunday's video which is my review of the amazing Spider-Man 2 in fact I'm uh, gonna you know watch that uh, for review right after I'm done here or um <clears throat> instead uh it's gonna be pushed back so system shock ray is gonna be uh tomorrow and then my really amazing spider-man is gonna be on monday he's but in the meantime for today uh we got new tag team championship designs and uh new ish tag team title names uh so oh essentially he, uh what i mean by that uh we is essentially reverting to the old names for the tag team championship so raw has the uh world tag team championships and now smackdown has the we tag team championships which is how it, it it was as you know back then and everything so that was their original names um names uh Back during, like, the uh, first brand split and everything, when uh, Raw and SmackDown each had tag team championship designs. And uh, so those were the names. The World Tag Team Championships were on Raw. The WWE Tag Team Championships were on SmackDown. And they were, and they had, like, uh, the World Tag Team Championships had, like, red and, and stuff in them. Um, uh, to represent Raw, the WWE Tag Team Championships had, like, blue and stuff with the within them to represent SmackDown and then obviously you know those titles got unified they were they held on to it for a while I mentioned before man W loves them some double champions but uh yeah so they held on uh they did the unified tag team championships thing they did that for a little while and then uh and then we got the uh new at the time tag team title designs that being the uh that being the the bronze slash like copper tag team championships and then that and then when they did the second uh brand split in 2016 that's when we got the raw and smackdown tag team championships being like the silver and red or silver and blue tag team titles that we had for a while but now it's a new era so now we've got a new tag team championship designs so uh let's talk about them so first up we have the world tag team championship designs now these ones actually don't mind too much. Uh, I know a lot of people said they don't uh, really like uh, these championship designs. Uh, and, uh, they definitely aren't better than the WWE Tag Team Championship designs, and we'll obviously gets those. But these ones uh, aren't bad. Like, hey, although yes, they they are just feel uh, like another derivative of the World Heavyweight Championship design. Honestly, the World Heavyweight Championship design isn't really bad either so if you're if you're gonna pick any championship design to rip off of then um i suppose there are worse but but um and the red within them um the a couple things i do like when it comes to how they incorporate the red and uh as opposed to how they could have done it uh for starters the red thankfully isn't super bright or overpowering to the point where air it's like oh this is terrible but oh uh it goes more it's almost more in like a burgundy kind of uh way at, at least from what i'm saying like it kind of uh, going for more of like a maroon or like uh, burgundy kind of uh style well, almost like almost like the colors of like the north american championship so i think not having that like super bright red to wear air it's like notice me notice me like i think that uh i think that that uh doesn't make it unbearable to look at but at but uh uh, but uh, yeah, but the other thing is that uh, having it in the backdrop of the letters and making the letters white and then having it go in the globe, I think is also kind of a cool touch. But I, these ones I do wish could kind of be their own thing and like have their own design, like have their own brand new design. But uh, otherwise, they're not not bad. Uh, they're uh, they're uh, they're uh, actually pretty uh, decent, uh, I would say. But now we get to the WWE Tag Team Championship designs. And to quote the great Anakin Skywalker, this is where the fun begins. Like, these title designs are 
awesome. Like, I, uh, definitely having that old school feel to them, uh, definitely looking like the old W, the old WWE Championship designs, or like the, uh, or even like the Attitude Era Championship design. So, having that throwback design for these, I think, is really cool. Well, and it definitely differentiates them from the, uh, World Tag Team Championship designs. And it's like the fact that they have two different designs i think uh hang are are pretty cool like I, I was expecting these to uh oh either look like the world tag championship designs or to look like the uh or to look like the like the undisputed WWE Universal Championship, which I guess now is just being called the WWE Championship. But, um, but, but as for these designs, I think, I think uh, they are really great. Like like that uh, that boxy like a look and feel to them. Uh, very much like like that old school feel. Like all the stuff going on, the crowns up top, up uh, just really good stuff. Like a hey, um. Just it's really awesome tag, tag team uh, title designs, uh, if I do say so myself. So between the two, which title do I think has the better design? I definitely got to go with the WWE Championship. Like the World Tag Team Championships, they don't look that uh, bad, but uh, the WWE Tag Team Championships, I think, are where they are, uh, where they're at. And are they better than the older designs? Absolutely. Now, unlike like other people, what other people are saying, I don't. I don't hate the other designs like the WWE uh, Tag Team Championship design. Uh, not the uh, not the WWE Tag Team Championship. The, those designs are awesome. I'm talking about the um, the Raw and SmackDown Tag Team Championships. A lot of people say, "Oh, these designs were horrible. They were the worst." There's, there's, uh, th those designs I don't think were horrible or even bad, but they were kind of basic and, and a bit generic and the fact that they looked exactly like each other also really didn't help but help oh, but those designs didn't really look bad they didn't necessarily look bad like pe people are saying people saying these are the worst tag team championship designs ever uh, <laughs> oh no oh not even close go go back and see some of the uh other or, uh Go back and see some of the other or tag team championship designs, and you will immediately take back those comments and and find out more about it in my uh, tag team championship uh, cha uh, rank, uh, tier list video. But uh, yeah, um, but yeah. So while the Raw and SmackDown tag team championship designs weren't necessarily bad, had just kind of just kind of basic, kind of plain Jane. These designs are way way better. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, the, there you have it. The, that's uh, my thoughts on the new Tag Team Championship designs. And uh, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, please do me a favor. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and turn on post notifications. You know every time we upload videos, you can see some new drops. And uh, let, let me know in the comments what your thoughts on the new Tag Team Championship designs. Uh, do you like them? Do you dislike them? Uh, which do you think is better, the World Tag Team Championship designs or the WWE Tag Team Championship designs? Uh, let me know. But nevertheless, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you guys later. Peace.